Greetings everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Captain Rye, and today's YouTube video, I'm back here in my Sharnhorst. Well, the battle in my Sharnhorst is a reasonable one. It's the ending of this battle that's going to surprise most of you. As you can guess by the title, it's not going to go the way you think, or it might go exactly the way you think with a surprise before the ending. It's the Fire Islands map in standard battle mode, so there's not a lot for our destroyers to do other than be forward. And unfortunately, we've already managed to lose one of our destroyers. There are a lot of destroyers in this battle, and we're going to see pretty much all of them very early on. As the battle is really just starting to heat up. Looking at the situation during normally during standard battle mode, most of the teams tend to like to limbing train off to one side, and it really just comes down to a few key players like myself choosing to defend on one side or to push to take the advantage if the enemy team limbinged off to the other side. I'm getting shots out here at this one of these destroyers, and as you can see, there's the second one up there, and I'm not really having any luck managing to hit much. You can see my damage score is pretty low there. Just as I have get my guns on bear for the other enemy destroyer, he manages to disappear into a smoke. I still do manage to hit him and do a decent amount of damage. Haven't taken any damage yet, and that's a good thing, but we're going to see that change pretty quickly here. So I start taking shots in from a cruiser, a battleship, and several destroyers. Suddenly, I'm the focus of everybody's attention. And this is usually ends up being the case, especially when I'm isolated by myself on one flank. And as you can see, looking at the map situation, I am pretty well isolated out here. There's not a lot for the enemy to shoot at, and I'm a fairly large target. So they're definitely going to want to uh, focus me down. Enemy Nuremberg up there, I get shots out. Those are looking pretty nice. Do manage to citadel him and hit him for a big chunk of his health. Now, with any luck, I'll be able to finish him off and secure my kill. But those shots coming in there look like they're going to finish him off before I can get around this island. So, a little disappointed that I had my kill taken from me. But hey, you know what? We really do need to get back into this game. The team scores are pretty equal, but the enemy team still has all of their destroyers left. And we already started with a destroyer disadvantage, having one fewer than the enemy team. And now they have the destroyer advantage being two destroyers more than us. Enemy Dunkirk trying to hide behind an island back over there. I'm just far enough away that I should be able to drop shots on him. He's giving me a broadside, so with any luck I'll hit him. And I do manage to hit him from some regular penetration damage. No citadels, a little disappointed there, but hey, I'll take the regular penetration damage. Enemy Kutuzov up there in the distance. I'm going to try and hit him out there. We've got a destroyer who's YOLO charging him down. I'm not entirely sure the decision making behind this destroyer. And I've been set on fire twice by two different ships. This is absolutely annoying, and it's knocked out one of my torpedo tubes. Come on, trying to get big hits on this Kutuzov out there. Help our destroyer as much as possible. Can I do it? I do put a big hit out there. Our destroyer gets taken out by the Kutuzov's torpedoes, but the destroyer does manage to take him with him. Of course, that puts us at even greater destroyer disadvantages. The enemy team is now way up on their destroyer numbers. While we are pretty much losing all of our stealthy ships. And I've been set on fire yet again. This is thoroughly annoying. Enemy Sharnhorst up there is slowing down. I know what he's doing. He's planning on taking shots at me and yeah, here they come. So I get shots out at him. I do manage to hit him and not really do any damage. It's a little disappointing. The destroyer that's shooting at me is thoroughly pissing me off. And at this point, I'm just sitting here going, this guy needs to step the fuck off. Um, manages to set me on fire in a third place, and I'm basically burning from bow to stern at this point. 
But the fire will be out soon enough, so hopefully I can get away and be out of range and stop getting pecked to death by a destroyer. Speaking of destroyers, there's another one, and he is incredibly low health as well. Get shots out there in an effort to try and finish him off with any luck. I do manage to hit him only for one overpin. Not enough done. And our friendly destroyer up there didn't really seem to have any desire to shoot at him as well. So now we're down to just two of our destroyers. The enemy team still has all of their destroyers, and I am incredibly low health. So I'm going to go ahead and try and heal up here. Enemy shine horse just come around that side of the island, and I'm disappearing behind one. So I take shots off at him. Maybe I can hit him for a good amount of damage. But nope, I just get ricochets again. Certain times in this game, it really does feel like RNG Jesus doesn't love you. Then again, there are certain times in this game where it feels like RNG Jesus' will is with me. So, looking at the situation, our team is down on ships. The enemy team is up on ships. They have way more destroyers than we do. They haven't lost any of their destroyers. And they're in a better position than we are. In fact, if you look at it, most of them are pushing up to our base. Paying attention to the minimap, you will notice that there are a couple of destroyers up there. What the minimap isn't showing you is that the sneaky Japanese destroyer on the enemy team is actually just back behind me and will be pushing into our base very shortly. I finally managed to land a reasonable hit on that Scharnhorst, but it's really not going to be enough as he's still mostly full health and hasn't taken a lot of damage so I know he's got the repair abilities and he gets shots in there and returns the favor with that damage. Being detected like this and not being able to see what's detecting me is pretty damn aggravating at this point. So I'm basically hoping that the enemy team will just fall apart at this point. And I mean, they are pretty much in a command position. They're pushing and putting pressure on to our base. My team, if you look at most of them, back behind an island where the sea cat point would normally be. And there's that sneaky Japanese destroyer I told you about. And there goes our last destroyer. This leaves me one battleship and three cruisers to deal with two battleships, a cruiser, and all of the enemy team's destroyers. And those destroyers, they're going to make every concerted effort to make it as impossible as they can. It's about this point, if you look at the situation, that you would probably start giving up. The enemy team is in a much better position. The enemy team has more ships. The enemy team is capturing our base with a sneaky underaged boat. There's, like, there's not a lot that it seems like we can do. And all of their destroyers are working together. They're popping smoke screens for each other. They're hiding in smoke screens. They're doing a lot. So there is one of the enemy destroyers who's popped up, and I've got him flagged for secondaries. The problem is, at this kind of range, my secondaries aren't the most accurate, even though they are on the Scharnhorst. I fire off torpedoes at that enemy Scharnhorst back there, and that guy, he's on four kills, by the way. So we know he's a good player, so I'm going to try and maintain angling against him. But it does look like my torpedoes are going to hit him. Come on, with any luck. I hit him for all three, almost kill him outright, but my kill gets taken from me by a friendly ship. Still though, his Kraken is denied. Dodge the torpedoes in from the destroyer that's still singing in our cap, and this Farragut is starting to royally piss me off. I think this Farragut might have been the one who kept trying to set me on fire or did set me on fire earlier in the game. Now, I saw the enemy destroyer, the Atsuki, or the Fubuki, who's sitting in our cap, and I can see him. He is within secondary range, but he's bow on to me, and I'm not worried about torpedoes. 
No, right now I'm worried about dealing with this Farragut. My team has come back and we have a cruiser pushing up who's going to deal with that destroyer with any luck. So I managed to take out that enemy destroyer and that enemy destroyer who was capping our base gets taken out by our cruiser. Now the enemy team is still up on points because they were capturing our base for just that little bit longer. More importantly, they were capturing our base but they have uh, they've taken out more of our high value targets so while the team's lists are now actually equal the enemy team is no longer equal I don't know exactly where their push disintegrated but if I had to guess I would say that it was Probably about the point that Scharnhorst pushed up behind the island and then stopped. Rather than continuing to push around the side of the island with his Farragut and having the Benson accompany them, they decided to sit back there for just that little bit because they were pretty sure that they were secured in their victory. And that decision making has cost them a guaranteed win. Now, of course, they can still win this, as there's the Lo Yang, who is still full strength. The Benson is incredibly low HP, though, if you can manage to hit him. I get torpedoes off there at the Dunkirk. With any luck, he'll just continue to push right up around that island. He's pretty low health, so that would be good for me. If you would just do that. I get shots off at the low Yang, and the low Yang is ventured inside secondary battery range, so I'm going to go ahead and get my secondaries on him. There is my Confederate medal for causing so much damage to enemy ships. Take shots in there from the Hipper that's been kind of hiding off in the back uh, pretty regularly. And this guy, if you've paid attention to the chat, every time he gets shot at, he kindly asks that you stop it. Well, that hipper really didn't commit, you know, really didn't contribute all that much to his team. And I, I'm kind of willing to bet that if he had pushed up with his Dunkirk here, with his Scharnhorst, he could have put his torpedoes and his ship to better use. If you look at my consumable situation, you'll notice that I don't have a heal anymore. So all the damage that I take from this point on is all permanent. Which means taking torpedoes, taking fire damage, pretty much taking any kind of damage is dangerous. Friendly cruiser's pushing up there, and he is kind of pushing into the smoke a little bit. There come torpedoes out from the Benson, who, again, is incredibly low health. But the Benson, he got taken out by that cruiser. So now the enemy team has a Dunkirk that's got about as much HP as I do. They have a cruiser, the Hipper, that's sitting in the back of the map, trying to snipe. And my team has a mostly full strength cruiser, a mostly dead battleship, and another cruiser back behind me. We took a situation that was going to be almost a guaranteed loss. We rallied, and now we're basically back on the warpath, and we're going to push forward and charge down this Dunkirk, and we're going to take the points advantage, and then, looking at the scores, and looking at the time, we're probably going to go push into their base or chase down that Hipper. The Hipper, who's just disappeared, by the way, back behind his base. Friendly Cruiser takes a big hit there, but fortunately the Dunkirk doesn't manage to Citadel him. That would have been pretty bad if that had been the case. But we uh, get shots out there and manage to do a decent amount of damage. My secondaries are lighting that Dunkirk up, and they're the friendly torpedoes away. I get my torpedoes off too, just as a secondary measure in case his miss, but I don't think his will. Now the question is, am I going to be able to secure the kill on this guy before those torpedoes hit him? if those torpedoes hit him, they're going to kill him pretty much outright. Fire off my forward shots, and I'm angling my ship very well in order to prevent taking too much damage from this Dunkirk, because of course it's the last thing I need. 
do manage to secure the kill with an overpenetration to the superstructure. And that's going to put me at three kills. The Friendly Cruiser, by the way, he's also sitting on four kills, so technically, I just denied him a Kraken. Well, I denied the Sharnhorst on the enemy team a Kraken, so might as well deny the guy on my team. Now, the enemy team only has one Cruiser left. That's it. Just one. And he's hiding in the back. What was a guaranteed victory for his team, again, does now turn into what looks to be a guaranteed defeat. But the Hipper, of course, I mean, he could play it really well, play it really intelligently, and he could burn me to death, and he could take out our cruisers. Or he could use the islands and surprise ambush us with a nice, hot, fresh load of torpedoes. However, he's not going to do any of that. He's just sitting back behind his base, kind of waiting for the inevitable to happen. So as I push up here, the rest of the team is also pushing up. If you look at the chat, you'll see some pretty interesting commentary going on in the chat. I think the end of the chat, right as the battle ends, the commentary comments specifically on me, saying how I just won't die. Speaking of comments and chats, if you see me in battle, please do feel free to say hi in the chat. Even if I don't respond right away, or respond at all during the battle, it's probably because I'm busy. But I do appreciate the comments that pop up. Enemy Hippers popped up, he's about half health, so I'm going to start getting shots off there. I do manage to hit him for some uh, regular penetrations, a decent amount of damage. No Citadels though, I know that I could finish him off instantly if I hit him with a Citadel at this point. So I am going to continue to maneuver, and I'm going to make it difficult for this hipper to try and finish me off. The question is, who is going to be able to kill whom faster? He takes another big ol' hit there, pretty much has three cruisers shooting at him, and we're working together by all being clustered up here, so we can concentrate our firepower and take him out of the game. Shots out there, can I finish him off before the clock runs out? I do manage to do it. 132,000 damage, fireproof, dreadnought, confederate, and high caliber. Four kills. Not a bad battle. Just shy of 700,000 credits earned. But as per truth with the title, never give up and never surrender, as I said. As I will continue to say, don't stop playing the game, even if it looks like a confirmed victory or a confirmed defeat. Until the last second ticks down, your ship is dead, or all of the enemies are. Top of the team for XP earned there, over 2,000 base XP. No surprise with a result like that. Anyway, that's it for today's video, folks. If you like the video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to get semi-regular channel news and updates, you can do so by liking and following me on Facebook. If you'd like to help support me and my channel, you can do so by donating at my Patreon. If you'd like to watch me play World of Warships live, and I will get back to doing that this year, you can do so by following my Twitch channel. And if you've got an email, the replay submission that you'd like to be featured on my channel, you can do so by sending it to my email, PMing me the link via YouTube, or messaging me on Facebook. You can find the links for all of those in the video description down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Captain Rye. Signing off.